I know Tunas play much more better basketball than, than us. They deserve that win. But what's more to say for sure, our game plan wasn't wasn't good. But it is what it is here. So we must keep working. We must we must how to say wait for those players who are who are out of the team and uh, we'll try to be better. Trenerio komentaras su prunktinės, treneris sakė, kad Neptūnas žaidė šiandien žymiai geresnį krepšinį, jau nusipelnė tos pergalės. Aišku, kad mūsų rungtynių planas nebuvo geras, yra kaip yra, turim dirbti toliau, laukciu grįžtančių traumotų žaidėjų ir stengti būti geresnė. Toks trenerio komentaras. Coach, you mentioned the game plan, uh, but were you happy with uh, your teammates, uh, your players' energy, uh, especially in the first half? No, each of us must see what he, what, 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 uh, we can do better personally, so for sure I, I, I could do better the game plan before, uh, before the game. About energy, you know, like... For sure many situations that we could react better. But we didn't and uh, that's it. At the end, like uh, Neptunas, I can say, easy one against us today. Asmas buvo apie komandos energijas šiandien, treneris Smiausiai sakė, kad turim žiūrėti tai, ką galim daryti geriaus meniškai, pats apie geresnį išdymo planą, apie energiją, treneris sakė, kad buvo situacijų, kur galėjom reaguoti geriau, bet rungtynių pabaigoje, treneris sakė, kad atrodo, kad Neptūnas tiesiog laimėjo lengva iš tas rungtynių. Marko Pecarski had 19 points, didn't miss a single shot from the field, but it seems like every opponent is trying to target him on defense. What, how do you see, you know, his performance uh, in this game and uh, overall so far this season? This is for locker room. This is not for public. Klaus must be happy that that Petzarski's attack was a little bit more. It was a great win for us. We played against one team that I respect a lot, and I think is the best defensively. Defense, defensively team in the league. They have 77 po uh, points on on the defense, especially home. They play very aggressive. They create a lot of turnovers for the other teams. And I think the key of the game was that we control the game by defense, except the last quarter that they scored 28 points. Last five minutes we didn't have one good defense. But offensively, we read very well the game. We passed the ball. We, we had calm. And Overall, I think we had a good game both sides and we deserve this win. Na, trenerio komentaras, treneris sakė, puikiai pergalė mums, žaidėm prieš vieną geriausių gynyboje, komandų lygoje, ypač namuose, varžovai žaidžia labai agresyviai, priverčia varžovos klystę. Treneris sakė, kad šiandien kontroliavom rungtynės gynyboje, išskyrius gal tik ketvirtą kelnį ir polime, taip pat labai žaidėm kokybiškai. Coach, how happy were you with uh, offensive execution, especially like in the in the, in the first half? I, I thought you had a clear plan. And how happy were you with the players' execution on that side? I think we recruited the team uh, to have players that they can read and they can follow the plan. And uh, it was obvious that on first half, especially, uh, we follow the plan. We had very good spacing, and of course, we have the players that they can take the decision when there is the time to score, when is the time to create. The two point guards, we have two point guards that I'm very happy that we have these two point guards that is coach on the floor. And uh, this makes the job of our coaches easy. And uh, But overall we have some injuries like let cables and uh, it was very important also these minutes that uh, Radvilas give us uh, eight minutes all of the players that step in on the floor, they was on the same page with great concentration, and uh, that was the key for this win. Klaus, mas buvo apie Neptūno žaidimą šiandien polime, trenis sakė, buvo akivaizdu, kad pirmoje rungtynių pusėje labai gerai laikėmės plano polime, gerai, ger, buvo geras judėjimas, žaidėjai gerai skaitė žaidimą, džiaugiuos, kad turiu tokius du žaidėjus, kurie yra kaip, žaidėjus, kaip, trener, kurie yra kaip treneriai aikštelį, sakė treneris, bendrai sakė, turim traumų, kaip ir varžovai, ir Adilas knyžiais davė gerų minučių, bet smagu, kad visi žaidėjai kilstelio savo žaidimą į viršų ir, ir pavyko laimėti. Klaus. Uh, Agravanis had an amazing night offensively, scoring 21 points, grabbing, I think, seven rebounds. How would you rate his performance and uh, how much do you expect from him in the future? 
We know, I know Dimitris pretty well. We signed one player that uh, I know that he will fit immediately to our philosophy. Of course, it was tough for him on the last quarter. It was very difficult for him. It's not easy two months out of the game to come and to play this tempo because our league, they have a lot of possession. So every every player is very important. And if you want to win a, a team like the Kabilis, Everyone they must play on high level, and today I think all if we go player player by player they give us great help, and also I would like to wish good luck to Letkabilis to for Euro Cup. I think it's very important for Lithuanian basketball uh, teams uh, on Euro Cup Champions League to have good wins because it's very important. Uh, everyone speak about. League, our league that is getting better, the team is getting better, and this is Zalgiris right now is first in the in Euro League, and I'm very happy that I'm part of this league that make uh, so big steps. Klaus must be a Dmitry Agravani, Yogiras from Tinashent, and Resaka is no ill by Gare, but Sarasha means you know, the sticks must redeem a philosophy, for a man as you know, the other chic technical language, I'm just talking about Augusto Tempo, Tarkara Shaprasme, Trans the Potponia, Kotki Kyonas Dias, Commander Lobis for Bus, Ripache Gunor Elemetra Stogas Commanders, Kiblet Kabilis, Visir Dia, Turjas Geram League, Irti Patrainers, Dark Pidiokat, Nori Polinket, Sekmias, Let Kabil Europa Story, Nes Pergales Tan, Rbenrich Dimas Tan Lobis for Bus. Lietuvos krepšinių ir visai lygai ir treneris pasidžiūgė, kad ir Žalgiris dabar pirmas Euro lygo ir kad treneris yra šitos lygos dalimi. It was a really positive message from you, but I have to ask also, you know, you came in obviously with uh, at least three injuries to some of your uh, main players. Uh, Johnson Patsavich was probably out for a good few weeks uh, at, at least, right? Uh, Gailus maybe a bit more short term. So I have to ask, is the, from the recruitment plan, I mean, is this the, let's say, rotation, the roster that the club is sticking to, including the young guys, or is there a plan to, I don't know, uh, get some help? No, we signed Dimitris Agravanis for one month. Hopefully, Martinez will recover after the windows. And um, it's, we discussed this before the press that it's a lot of games and it's not easy for any LKL team uh, with, that we, have, we don't have a EuroLeague roster with 14 15 players. Hopefully, we have some player from the second team that is very important for us. But uh, it's so many games, and uh, but the season is like this. We need to find solution. We need to find uh, uh, to make all the players to be ready. And uh, it is what it is. I hope Nate Johnson and Dimitris will come back after the uh, and Martinez will come back after window and after window to have full roster, hopefully. Klausimas buvo apie traumas ir apie galbūt galima komandos papildymą. Trenis sakė, kad apie papildymą negalvoja. Pasirašėm agravanį mėnesį. Tikimės Pacevičio sugrįžimo po Lapkurčio FIBA lango. Paskui dar pridėjo, kad ir Johnsono sugrįžimo tygės panašių metų. Trenis taip pat sakė, kad kaip ir kalbėjo anksčiau, žaidžiam daug rungtynių. Visoms komandoms nėra lengva, klubai neturi eurolyginių rotacijų. Bet trenis sakė, kad turim ieškoti sprendimo ir užtikrinti, kad tiesiog visi žaidėjai būtų pasiruošę.